Hi everybody, this is Josh. In this video, we're diving deeper into Gravit Designer and I'm going to show you some advanced techniques using the pen tool. So if you haven't seen my overview or some of my other videos on Gravit Designer, go ahead and check those out. There should be a link somewhere close by. What I'm going to do is show you some advanced techniques using the pen tool. Gravit Designer is a vector-based application that can run in your web browser. And that's how I'm using it right now in this video. I have an image copied to the clipboard, which is just an image I found online of this penny with Abraham Lincoln's face on it. I'm going to paste that into Gravit Designer with the Control V. And you can see I can move this around my canvas, position it where I want. And what we're going to do is use the pen tool to get a silhouette of just Lincoln's head and shoulders. So I'll, I'll select the pen tool right here or the path tool, which is also P on my keyboard. If I hold down the space bar, it will automatically change to the hand tool, just like in Photoshop and Illustrator so that I can move my entire canvas around on my screen. I can hold control and use the scroll wheel to zoom in. And the combination of those two features allows me to get around my document very easily, zooming in and out and panning. I'm going to pick a spot. doesn't really matter where I start. And I'm going to show you a couple of different methods of drawing complex shapes using the pen tool. With the pen tool selected, I'll just start with a point. I'll start right here at the top of his forehead, and I'll just click to place a point. And for this, I'm just going to go over here and turn off snapping for right now. That's my first point. Now you see I have this line segment that is indicating the angle of where my next point is going to be. And what I'm creating is a solid shape, but I'm doing it one point at a time. What I can do is I'll choose maybe up here. Now, of course, I want to include this curve of his hair, but this is the way the pen tool works. If I click here, I can click and drag, and you can see I can start creating that curve. There we go. Now, I want to change the direction of my next line segment. And to do that, I'm going to hold down the Option or Alt key. And see, I can change this line segment independently of my previous line segment. And I'm going to change the trajectory of my next line to make sure I'm following the edge of his hair. I'll click here. And then I'm clicking and holding and dragging to change the shape of my curve. I'll hold Alt again to change the direction of my next line and continue following this around the top of his hair. Click and drag, hold Alt, change the direction. Click to plot my next point. Now I'm going to hold Spacebar to pan over so that I can see the rest of his head that I want to get. Then I'm going to click down here. And this just takes some practice. Knowing where you need points takes practice. Click and drag to create that curve. Hold Alt, change the direction. Click and drag. Hold Alt, change the direction. Click and drag. Hold Alt. And I'm going around this entire thing using those same key combinations. Tracing photos like this is really good practice, and it can also achieve some great results for icons and illustrations. Click and drag, hold Alt, change the direction. Click and drag, hold Alt, change the direction. Click and drag, hold Alt. Holding Control, I'm using the scroll wheel to zoom out. I'm going to go all the way over here so I get a nice, even curve to that bottom line. Hold Alt, change my direction. I'm holding Control to zoom in. Click and drag, hold Alt. And you can get as precise as you would like. And there we have our completed shape, like a silhouette. Now remember, this is a vector, so we can always go in with our sub-selection tool, which is D on the keyboard, and make changes to our curve. To see this better, I can just lower the opacity right over here in the appearance panel on the right-hand side, so that I can see both my shape 
and the image underneath. So for example here, maybe I just wanted to tidy up the forehead here. With the sub-selection tool selected, I can grab the line segment itself to change that curve. Holding Alt, I can drag a duplicate. And under the Fill and Border on the Appearance panel, I can format this object and change its attributes. I can also bring my image to the front, make sure I have both my shape and the image selected. You can see that indicated over here in the Layers panel. And then I can hit the, then I can press the Clip button right up here, which is the same way that you've seen me cut out photos before using Gravit Designer. Then I can bring my opacity back up, and now I have a cutout version of just Abraham Lincoln's head and shoulders. I'm going to turn off my border here. So I was able to use that shape to kind of get two different things. One is a vector silhouette, as well as use that same shape to create a cutout of that bitmap image. I want to show you another technique of doing the same thing. We're creating a silhouette of Abraham Lincoln's head and shoulders from this bitmap image of a penny. I'm going to go back to the pen tool and instead of the clicking and dragging to recreate curves using the alt key to change the trajectory of our next line segment, what I'm going to do is just plot the points that I know I'm going to need. And we'll start in the same, we'll start in the same area right up here by his forehead. And of course, this also takes some practice learning where you're going to need points, but it may be a better technique for some people than the method I just showed you. So all we're going to do is click, no clicking and dragging, no holding alt. We're going to use the sub selection tool after the fact. So we're creating a rough shape first, just plotting the points where we want it to have a curve in between. So it's a little different idea to get your head around, which is why I want to show you this method. For some of you, it might be faster to do it this way. And you could actually end up with more precise results. So you can see anywhere that I want to have an anchor, I'm putting a point. And the way that I decide is basically wherever the shape changes drastically. So there's a sharp point or a curve that goes in a different direction. You can also put more points than you think you're going to need and get rid of them later. Because remember, this is a vector. It's much more like playing with clay than it is like painting. So what we have is a very rough geometric sort of Picasso style image that we ended up with. What I'm going to do is change the fill color to something kind of obnoxious so that it really stands out against the image that I'm trying to match. And then take my opacity down on my shape. Then I'm going to go to D on my keyboard which is also the sub-select tool. And this is where I'm going to push everything into place. And I think that you can see how this could actually be faster for you. I'll simply select my shape and then click on the line segment, the segment between two points, to push my shape into place. Again, I'm just holding down the space bar to pan around my canvas to get into the position I need. Again, I can hold down Alt or Option to drag a duplicate. And let's just go ahead and bring our opacity back up. I'll turn off my border and I'll make my fill color black. And I'll go ahead and I move my shape I just created behind my reference image and click clip. Bring my opacity back up. 
turn off my border and my fill color for that matter. And we can compare those two different methods and see the results. The second method definitely has fewer clicks and less clicking and dragging and holding down the mouse button to move your shapes around. But it really depends on what you're cutting out and what works best for you, which method you use. Either one obviously can achieve some great results. So I hope this video gives you just a little bit more on what the pen tool is and what it does and what you can accomplish with it. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.